on to the future of AI, we don't just mean via your phone or your computer screen. It's right here in the physical world. I'm talking about the kind you can see, touch, and one day live alongside. From Japan to China, tech firms around the world are racing to develop humanoid robots that can perform everyday human tasks. From washing dishes, doing laundry, sweeping floors, even assisting in care homes in Japan. The demonstration of the open arm robotic arm, open arm robotic arm teleoperated through a VR headset. The arm mirrors the operator's movements, training the AI to perform tasks autonomously. We're very interested in deploying robots where robots can actually live alongside people um, in, in environments that it's very like chaotic and the conditions are always changing. The open arm robotic system basically is a research tool, but it's also a glimpse of what physical AI could do in the future. Each movement of the arm, each task it practices from picking up a cup to scrubbing a dish is recorded to teach AI how to operate independently in real world settings. So you're trying to like pick up the cup and like pour it into another cup. Um, you can like show, you know, 50 demonstrations of it um, using this teleoperation setup. And um, yeah, and then, and then you can train the AI model, you can fine tune it um, and, and, you, and they'll be able to perform the task autonomously. In fact, uh, the team planned to deploy semi-humanoid robots in Japanese care homes starting next summer itself. Initially, these robots will handle peripheral tasks like uh, cleaning surfaces, washing dishes, doing laundry. It will free up the human caregivers, basically, to focus more on direct care. I think we are just at the early stage of seeing the emergence of physical AI. Now, regarding physical AI today, I believe there is one crucial point that was invisible in the physical world, but has become apparent in the digital realm. The advantage of being a first mover. Data will be the most vital asset going forward. It functions much like oil, serving as a form of energy. I think whoever can acquire substantial, valuable data will be able to drive the future of AI or physical AI. So-called physical AI is different from the text-based AI, of course. Unlike uh, uh, text-based AI, these robots must understand the laws of physics, recognize spatial relationships, operate safely alongside human beings. Teleoperation allows the engineers to collect crucial vision action data to teach them how to handle complex tasks. Japan's um, company has already approached more than 50 care facilities in the country to test these robots reportedly. By performing simple household tasks, the robots will learn, they will improve, paving the way for fully autonomous operation. And in China, meanwhile, a similar texting, uh, testing going on, but in corporate settings, factories, and controlled environments, ensuring safety before entering homes. The company basically envisioning robots that can handle reception duties, assist in factories, or even provide guidance and companionship. Well, we are training our robots in our factory today. Uh, they actually are going through a vast amount of human data input. You know, we're actually having our employees really putting sensors and perceptions on them to collect the you know, the data and also to perfect the, uh, the, the job scenarios. So these trainings will yield uh, productive robots. Hopefully you can see it in our factory next year. Across the world, physical AI is gaining momentum. In the US as well, some companies have made headlines with dog-like robots, agile humanoids. But Chinese and Japanese firms are also moving fast because they are being supported by their governments, strong domestic supply chains and heavy investment. But experts caution that while humanoid robots are progressing rapidly, their physical abilities still lag behind AI ambitions. Still, the investment is booming, 
Japan's SoftBank recently purchased a robotics uh, company for $5.4 billion, calling physical AI the next frontier. And as per Morgan Stanley, there will be more than a billion humanoid robots worldwide by 2050. More than a billion. Robo In fact, physical AI is no longer science fiction, as you can tell. The next wave of AI is here. And it's stepping off the screen and into the real world around you. To stay up to speed with the latest news, download the Weon app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.